your big truck driver, airborne trucker checking in from Hibbing, Minnesota, Minnesota. Got here yesterday about two in the afternoon, shut down, do my 34. Hey, it's a little cold. This is not Florida. Stayed out this weekend. You know, I usually stay out, stay out every other weekend since, you know, I stay in Florida. So makes sense, you know. Matt Lowe's waiting, waiting. It's all good though. Um, they open up at seven o'clock uh, for receiving their Monday through Friday. You know, so I you know got here early yesterday, so I thought quote unquote, but yeah, they don't receive on the weekend, so it's all good. Bad thing, there ain't nothing here in Hibbing, Minnesota. H i b b i n g. So couple hours from Canada, I think, um, but there ain't nothing here. There's probably about, I think, 1,800 people here in this city or town or something like that. Um, the highlight here is Walmart. That's it. Walmart. Um, there's no Uber. There's no Lyft. And it's cold as balls. So, um, I stayed in the hotel last night. Luckily, there's a hotel right across the street, Hampton Inn. Pretty neat. Um, free breakfast, did my laundry, whatnot. Slept in the bed, had some free heat, you know, shower and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm going to uh, brave it up tonight and stay in the truck and deliver, you know, untarp and stuff in the morning. Get unloaded first thing. Hopefully get something going back home. I'll probably go home this weekend. Yeah, I'm, I reached my limit. It's all good, though. Um, yeah, it's cold here. Good thing is there was no snow coming up here. Maybe it was like a little bit of snow when I first started in, um, Iowa. Um, uh, but it's going to snow tonight. Not sure how much it said 70% chance of snow and it's going to be snowing in the morning. So hopefully, luckily I'll be unloaded heading down South somewhere. Also get my truck looked at. Got that awesome engine durate message. If you get an engine durate message, the first thing I'm going to ask you is send us a picture of your fuel filter, which I already knew they were going to ask me that. So I checked it out, looked at it. Oh, snap. I need to change it. Thing that's crazy is I just changed it not even a week ago. Now on my last you know, fuel filter. Um, I'm not sure what's going on, but usually the, you know, the fuel filter, when I first got in the truck, I mean, I didn't change my fuel filter for the first month. And I mean, I was good on the MPGs. Checked it on my pre-trip, no issues. This time here, I changed it last week, and it's like it's, it went to hell. Um, but I have noticed the one that I changed it with it was different from the original filter, so maybe that has something to do with it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So hopefully on my way back, I'll stop in and find some filters. If not, I'll bite the bullet, buy some, and get reimbursed for it later either on my taxes or on the on the next trip or however, however that goes. No big deal. But yeah, if you ever come to Hibbing, Minnesota, there ain't nothing here. I mean, literally nothing here. Um, no Uber Eats, like I said, no Uber, no Lyft, no DoorDash, none of that, you know. So if you come here during the wintertime, good luck. Summertime, you, know, you can probably suck it up, you know, stay on the truck. You know, I ordered a pizza to the hotel and ate that, you know, watched a little bit of TV, no sports. Um, but it is what it is. Haven't checked in in two weeks, but just out here getting after it. Um, just some things to talk about. I'm at four minutes, try to keep it at about a 10 minute video or less. You don't want to lose nobody's attention span. You know, when you come to TMC. You start at 26% if you want to stay percentage, or you start out 49% of miles. 98 to 99% of everybody does percentage. All right. So I've been on my truck for almost, let's see, a month, a month and a week or something like that. So my next snapshot is with the, you know, quote unquote, you know, promotion slash raise, I'll be at 29%. And I'll just do my, do my job, you know. Delivered on time, you know, delivered early when possible. Um, keeping track of your hours, 
you know, uh, Twit card, passport, hazmat, points for that. Um, revenue to the truck. Breakdown. They keep talking to me. They want me to unload and talk to them in the morning. Um, since I, they said sometimes it takes a while for the filter to recalibrate or to the truck to adjust or whatever. And maybe the fall to go away, which I hope so. It's, this will be my second engine to rate. Last time I had to go to Peterbilt, that was eight hours for a sensor. And that, that freaking sucked. But it is what it is. Breakdowns are going to happen. But to get back to the percentage and all the, the pay and stuff like that. The first two weeks, man, crappy loads. But hey, you're new. You gotta prove yourself. You're not gonna get those two, three thousand dollar loads or fifteen hundred dollar loads, you know, right out the gate. You know, there's nothing wrong with eight hundred dollar loads. Honestly, if you think about it, you know, if you do the math correctly, you know, if you're able to, you know, deliver, you know, every day a eight hundred dollar load. It's the same thing as getting a fifteen hundred dollar load that's, you know, delivering in two days if you can't deliver early. So it's it's about the same, you know. But you gotta manage your clock. You gotta know stay on top of stuff. And when you prove yourself to your fleet manager, whoever your fleet manager is, if you have a good one, I have a pretty decent fleet manager. He has he keeps me on it, you know. All he asks is that you know, hey, you do your part, he'll do his part. So how you do your part is parking up, you know, on time, unloading full clock. Uh, communicating with him, him or her, any issues that you might have. Like I had a couple issues last week. You know, I didn't think I was gonna get to my pickup on time. Uh, from Naples, going to Tampa, it was an hour. It ended up being four hours. I had to, you know, sat in traffic for three hours to go 15 miles past that accident. You know, it was a four car accident. A lot of things are out of your control. You can have the perfect pre trip, perfect plan. A, hey, but those accidents. They'll get you. They'll, they'll they'll just get you. It's just it is what it is. You just do your best. Um. So I got through that. Got picked up with some hardy board. Delivered that. Pretty decent load. But the loads are out there. The work is there. Just come here, bust your butt. You'll be compensated. Nothing's given to you. You know. While you're with your trainer. Oh, let's talk about that. When you're with your trainer. Ask them all types of questions. Ask them anything and everything. Because when you're on your own, this is all you got. Two hands. That's it. You don't have the other two hands from your trainer. You don't have the extra, you know, the extra brain to ask questions and pick questions and this, that, and the other. You're on your own. So you're always going to want to try to get yourself a system when you're securing, when you're, you know, when you're getting to your cosignee, the shipper, whatever the case might be, make sure you have a plan. A, you know, always know have a backup too. You know, when you do your pre-trip, um, a thing I do on my pre-trips is I write down all my fuel points on the way up here, all my wash points. I had to go out of route this week to get the truck wash. You know, but hey, I mean it is what it is. You I mean the, your truck has to be washed? I didn't do it last week, so I did it this week. You know, I try to do it every week, so I don't have to worry about it, but. More than likely, you're going to do it every other week. Just always try to now factor in a, a, a wash point um, to get your truck wash. And the reason why I didn't wash last week was I was either deliver early or stop and wash the truck. So you know what I did? I delivered early. I delivered early and I got an extra load for the week. You know, same day. Bam. I was already there. Delivered early, picked up, uh, 15 minutes away, parked up the night before, got there, went down, delivered, came back, you know, money in the bank. So like I so said, on the back end, I had to watch the truck this week. So I went out of route because I just couldn't find anything. I didn't want to stop in Des Moines because it just, it just threw me off, threw my schedule off. You know, I had, did everything to where I was going to stop, fuel up, shower, and keep going. Yeah, so I, I damn watched the truck prior to that. Yeah, that is right. Stopped in Arkansas somewhere. Little truck wash. But they were quick, though. They did a nice little hand wash. And the truck was clean for about a day and a half. Got to Iowa. Powered down. Woke up to, you know, get here in Minnesota. It's freaking snowing. 
Well, man, that's, that's trucking. So enough about that. Keep your truck clean. You know, do your part and you'll make money. You know, I mean, it's just it's just too easy. Just do your part. Be safe. Hey, everything's going to come together. You know, like I said, there's a lot of good guys out there. I always talk about them. You know, you got uh, Kev. You got Green IB Rolling. You got, um, shoot, man. There's a whole bunch of TMC guys that have channels and stuff that put out good content. I'm hardly ever on here because I'm, I'm not fast enough. I'm not fast enough to secure and make a video and, you know, show you all the good things that, you know, that are out there. But there's a lot of good guys out there that's putting out good content. We are all over, all over. It's so like I said, I'm, I stay in Florida, but I'm in Minnesota um, this weekend. Hopefully that rocked me back home, back to the uh, Sunshine State or somewhere close to it. And then, you know, stay out. But yeah, I always have a plan. Oh, also talk about the fuel stops. Sometimes it might be another direction. It might be out the way, or you might not have a fuel, uh, you know, a fuel stop. I came close to about not really running out, but I was borderline. So sometimes you might want to look at about halfway. You know, you get half a tank. All right, cool. Let me see. You know how much if. You know, if you're on a good little path that you've been on before, like you already know, okay, I can keep running. I drove through Louisiana, Arkansas, just some back road stuff. It was no, no really no fuel points that I could stop at. Uh, luckily, I found somewhere to park at, you know, a few nights ago and looked at my fuel. So, all right, sweet. I got to find a fuel stop. So I stopped in Arkansas. They had a, a truck on mat. Line was out the building, so I got my fuel and kept trucking. There was another one in Russellville, Arkansas. Like I said, that's where they do the little hand wash, and it was pretty neat. But um, always have a backup plan. Always, always know, no matter how good you pre-trip, you know, and you plan, things are going to happen. Traffic's going to happen. Accidents going to happen. Breakdowns going to happen. Um, you just got to roll with the punches. Um, that's the biggest thing, you know. You're just going to have to roll with the punches. And it's freaking cold up here, man. Sheesh. You know, I don't mind the cold, but it sucks. Especially when there's nothing to do. I mean, like I said, there's no truck stops or nothing. So, just like so I'm in the truck for one night, which ain't no big deal. I mean, I stepped in a tent outside, stepped on the back of a truck, so it's no really no big deal. Um, but yeah, I'm on my just rambling right now, just. Nothing else to do. No sports. Make sure you wash your hands. It's just that simple. Wash your hands. Be clean. So what about the coronavirus? It's just people are overreacting. That's just me. You know, nobody's talking about Ebola. You know, if you do your research, there's been stuff going on every other year, every couple of years. Or they say every election year something happens, you know. It is what it is. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. Just do your part. Wash your hands. Stay clean. You know, that's it. That's just common sense stuff. I wipe down my truck every day, even though I'm the only person in here. I wipe my steering wheel. Wipe my shifter. Wipe my doors. With, you know, Lysol wipes. You know, I've got my hand sanitizer. I've had this prior to the Corona 19, whatever that crap is. I've been, I've, I always had this, you know. I've always got to have clean hands, man. You know. You know, I always had this stuff. Prior to that, you know, this little breakout. I always had this, you know. One, that keeps your own germs down and keeps your truck smelling fresh, you know. You don't want to smell your feet, you know. You don't want to smell your funk, you know. Spray your bunk, spray, you know, spray all that stuff, you know. Kills the germs. Even though they're your germs, they're still germs, you know. If you do that, you'll be fine. That's it, you know. You'll be fine. You know, but... Yep, it is currently thirty-one degrees. 
Um, right now in Hibbing, Minnesota. It's supposed to be a high of 32. And like I said, it's supposed to snow tonight. Treating my fuel. You know, stuff like that. You know, I got the, the diesel treat. You know, needed some of that. So, claim that back at the end of this trip. Hopefully I get my $18 back or whatever. If not, just write off on taxes. But you got to have that stuff. You got to treat your fuel, man. You got to, you know, you, you know, they talk about the idling and this, that, and other. Once it gets below, I think, don't quote me to it, under 20 degrees, you got to, you know, idle your truck. That's TMC's policy. That's the policy. Just got to idle the truck, you know. Well, I came back to my cooler. The cooler is frozen. So I'm a little green. Oh no, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Don't have a fridge, takes up too much space. I mean, you can have a fridge if you want, but I mean, you're gonna you're gonna take away from your space. So I just got a cool little cooler. That's it. It's about a one person cooler. Put my drinks in there if I got some lunch meat or something that's got a you know, if I got a meal from the house that I brought with me, you know, some more than enough space in there. I get ice every few days, you know, no big deal, you know. And the refrigerator is not in the way, you know. I might reconsider it once you no know, summertime gets here. I'm not sure. It's just freaking it just takes up too much space. I have a fridge, but it just it just takes up too much space. Even a small one takes up too much space. So, I mean, you know what you're going to want to eat. You don't know what kind of snacks you want to have. Just going to get stuff that's you no know, non-perishable, canned goods. And make sure you have a can opener. Third week out, had all my canned goods. Ready to eat some canned meat. No freaking can opener. Because I was so smart. I didn't get the pop tops like I did the very first time. So, make sure you got your can opener. Just stuff like that. You know... That's it, man. There's money to be made. TMC is a great company. Like I said, I've been here. I'm on my sixth week. You know, all my own. You know, I'm my own truck, you know. Just do right. That's it. Just do right. You know. Just do right and they'll take care of you. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna be compensated accordingly. You know. If you guys got any, you know, military questions or how you know how to use your GI Bill or get reimbursed or you know, how's the pay or this, that, and the other. Um, like I said, there's a lot of good resources out there. You can almost Google anything and, you know, talk to anybody on these channels or Facebook pages and, you know, they'll, they'll tell you straight, you know. They'll tell you straight. I mean, I've been out driving and I'll see other flatbed guys and, you know, I don't know what to tell you. This guy's been driving, I think it was Blue Max. I think that's the company. He said he was driving for 30 years. He's been driving for 30 years. You know how much he makes? With 30 years experience, 49 cents a mile. 30 years experience. But there's a catch to that. You want to know why he's making 49 cents a mile? His, his doggone license is jacked up. He had a speeding accidents you know when you do stuff like that that's you're not marketable you have no say in your pay it's good you have no say in your pay you know i didn't say anything to him i was like wow you know you're 49 cents a mile you've been you know trucking flatbed you no know, <laughs> 30 plus years and you're at 49 cents a mile dude tighten up you know people talk about oh you only go 62 miles per hour okay I'm percentage. I know the time I got to be there. Trip plan accordingly. You get there early. Heck, you get unloaded early sometimes. First come, first serve, a lot of places. Guess what? You send your empty request in. Bam. You got another load usually fairly quick within an hour or so. You're on your next load. You're not chasing miles. You know, I got a buddy. He's at W.O. Holding. Chasing miles. You know, chasing miles. You know, he gets paid. 45 cents a mile, maybe, I think. I know he started at 42 cents, but now I think he's up to 45 cents. It's here's March. I think he's going to get his raise in February. 
45 cents a mile is crazy. TMC starts you at 49 cents. No experience. 49 cents, if I'm not mistaken. You know, but when you do miles, you're chasing miles. That's, you know, like I said, just about everybody does percentage. No, but you got to do what is best for you and your situation. You know, that's all I can tell you. My plan is just to stick around here as long as they don't need me. I mean, got a decent truck. It's got my name on it. All I got to do is keep it clean and keep it, you know, maintained. That's it. Cruise at 62. I'm slow and clean. That's my philosophy. Slow and clean, man. You know? That's it. 62. You know, until we get a hold of, you know, some of the little smaller issues. I'm not going to go into detail about that. That's not my place to say. You know, the speed will never go up on the trucks. It's, it just won't. You know, some people just aren't doing the right thing, and I'll leave it at that, but, yeah, 62 sucks, but hey, it is what it is, man, you catch your hill, you get up about 75, maybe, but well, watch, make sure you're not speeding, not make sure you don't break the speed limit, you know, but that's it, man, slow and clean, slow and clean, let's see, what else can I talk about, oh, yeah, it's cold, Still cold. Yeah. But got me a Carhartt. I got my work boots on. You know, it is what it is, man. We trucking, man, as uh, old Tay will say. Out there in Maverick. Shout out to Tay. Out there in Maverick, you know. Who else out there doing good things? Got my other boy. Uh, old owner operator. Out there in um, what is uh, PS? You know who you are. You started that though. He said you started that Melton. You know. Then you got um, oh Chris the trucker. I ain't seen him in a minute. You know. But just on another note, like I said, it's a lot of good guys out there, man. Started, started where I'm at, or just started. You know, you gotta start somewhere. You know, you just gotta do what's best for you. You know, TMC is not for everybody. You know, you might like Maverick. You might like Melton. You might like, um, shoot, man, it's PNS. You might like whatever or, or wherever you're at. ELS, you know, um, there's a lot of good companies out there. But the thing is, if you have no experience, <laughs> you got to start somewhere. So do your due diligence, do your research, and do what's best for you and your situation. Um, but I've got no, no problems with um, TMC. AKA the money crew, AKA two men cuddling, AKA um, whatever else they call us, you know, too much Chrome, you know, some hate us cause they can't be us, you know, but good starter company, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be here as long as the check keeps clearing, you know, you get paid every week. My last job was every other week. Sheesh. You no. Know, so, I'm not here to get rich. I'm just here to have a good time. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. When you enjoy what you're doing, the money's going to come. You know, I already know I'm not going to get rich. I'm not trying to be rich. I just want to be comfortable. Let's see, about another month and a half or so, get my, my co-pilot, my wife, you know, it'll be kind of cool. We're going to travel around and just do good things and just travel around and get paid for it. And I did that in the military, you know, I've been all across the world, but I haven't been on all 50 states. So I'm in Minnesota. That's, that's crazy. I never thought I'd be in freaking Minnesota. You know, been in Minnesota, been in Iowa, you know, Missouri. Uh, you know, Texas, been to Texas, you know, kind of from Texas, so that really don't count. But never in a hundred years would have thought I'd been in dog on Minnesota in the wintertime, you know. But uh, yeah, man, we trucking. Big truck driving. I guess I'll show you my load. When I'm first in line, you know, first in line. As you can see, there ain't nothing here, dude. And do that. So I'm not sure who's watching. Parked in the back of the store. Like I said, that's it, man. You got a movie theater. That's the load right there. 
literally across the street. That's where I stayed at. distribution center in Missouri. Had zero bounce miles I dropped off and picked up. 7 a.m.s cannot come soon enough in Missouri, in Minnesota. Well, that's where I stayed last night. Hampton Inn. It's the walking distance right there across the street. Like I said, nothing to eat. There's nothing to do here. So, if you come to Hibbing, Minnesota, bring your PlayStation, bring whatever you got because um, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Pull off some of my straps here in a minute. Keep everything tarped up since it's going to snow tonight. All I got to do in the morning is walk down to the other end at 7. Check in. Be good to go. Be good to go. Man, it's freaking cold. Crappy old tarp job they did at the distribution center, I tell you. Yep. So, get back in the truck, finish this reset, and get ready for it in the morning. It's another good day in TMC. Airborne trucker out.